know what's problem with you though, it's your boy Karen. We are back with a Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. It's actually a VGC Championship battle got Foul Spot, but it was a really, really close one, so I wanted to bring it to the channel. I'm having a ton of fun with VGC right now, so I hope you guys don't mind that. My team is Tapu Lele, Drift Blim, we got a little Marowak, and we also have Lapras. I built a whole team around Lapras. The other two Pokemon on my team are Crocodile and Cartana, but they do not make an appearance in this video. So my opponent brought Tapu Lele, Primarina, Gastrodon, and the Mimic Q. He also had a Tapu Coco, so that's why I brought a little Marowak, but he didn't bring it to the battle, so I could have brought Cartana to the spell and probably destroyed him, because his whole team is really weak to Cartana, but I want to make sure that Lapras could put on its work, and so that's why I brought a little Marowak, just in case Tapu Coco doesn't make an appearance. Either way, I hope you guys are enjoying this video, uh, not this video, but the Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battles a lot. I'm happy to bring them back. I'm happy to get some VGC onto the channel. So, without further ado, looking at this man's team, looking at my team, we're about to get into this. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go, boys. This man, what's his name? This man's name is Mac. Mac Daddy. Mac. Daddy Mac Macaroni McDonald's McDonald's Prima Arena Mac Tapu McDonald's Tapu Mac Mac We got Donald Trump Drift Blim Tapu Lele Maca Maca Mac uh, I don't know what I'm even freaking saying right now. My com why are you guys freaking listen to me? My commentary is so weird, like I go off on tangents. But either way, look at this freaking battle. The reason why I have Drift and Tapu Lele is because Drift does have the Psychic Seed. So before the battle even begins, when I lead off with this combination, I get plus one special offense and then double my sneaks of Unburden. So my Drift gets a lot of stat boost before the battle even begins. As he uses Moonblast, just a little bit of damage, but I'm using. Got that headache. Look at Tapu Lele with that headache. Come on, Tapu Lele. Shatter that Psyche. We're gonna break someone's mind. Call you Xavier. Come on, we're breaking minds out here. Freaking mind crush. Freaking Yu Gi Oh! Oh, yeah, bounce them all around like a Yu Gi Oh! monster. Call it mind crush. Kaiba don't know what in them. Pre Marina's going down. I freaking. I love VGC. It got me freaking hype. Either way, my opponent brings out the Mimic Q, which is really threatening for me because I have Drifflin, Tapu Lele. Alola and Marowak. None of these people want to take a never ending nightmare. None of these people want to take a Shadow Claw plus two. So I have to burn that Mimic you right away. We're not taking any chances because, I mean, if he went with Swords Dance, which, spoiler alert, he does go with the Swords Dance, I don't want to be taking any plus two attacks. So, Drifblim putting the team on his little. Well, he doesn't really have a back now, does he? Drifblim has, like. like well, he, everything has a back, but, you know, he doesn't have, like, a backpack. Like, I don't think Drifflin could carry something on its back. You go on top of it. You, like, if, if you were flying on a Drifflin, you'd be on top of the Drifflin. You wouldn't be on its back. But, <laughs> okay. Going back into the battle, I use Hex to break the Mimikyu sub while also burning him. The opposing Tapu Lele is going to use Moonblast on my Tapu Lele after I use a Moonblast on him. I take him down to half. He's going to use Moonblast on me. It's unfortunately going to take out my Tapu Lele. And there wasn't really anything I could do about that. Tapu Lele did his job at Shadow the Psyche of the Prima Arena. As he goes with that Shadow Claw, and even at neutral because of the burn, he is a life form, so that Shadow Claw is taking out Drifflin because Drifflin doesn't have very, very good physical defense. It has pretty horrendous physical defense, actually, even with the EVs I have into it. So, it, he took down both my Pokemon in one turn. I'm at two Pokemon right now. He has three left. It's in his favorite win at the moment. I sent in a Lola Marowak, as well as the Star. Lapras. The whole point of this team was to support Lapras. I'm so happy because he makes a very risky play right now. Let me tell you what. He brings out the shiny Gastrodon, which I mean, he, luckily for him, it works out because while he does use Shadow Claw Marowak, it's going to do a lot of damage. I did use Hydro Pump on Lapras, which isn't going to do anything because of Storm Dream, but my Lapras does have Freeze Draw, so that Gastrodon is not safe out here, and he probably does think it's safe, but let me tell you right now, that Gastrodon is not safe at all. I shall bone, Mimikyu's gonna go down, that threat is out of here, and now we're back to 2-2, two, two, but the Tailwind is gonna peter out, so my Pokemon are both gonna be pretty slow at the moment, since they're not gonna be boosted speed because of Tailwind, so I have to, ma I have to make sure my Marowak survives another turn, I want him to waste a turn with one of his Pokemon, 
so I can freeze draw the Tapu Lele. Because right now, the Gastrodon isn't a threat. At, for me, I don't even know if this Gastrodon can touch Lapras, because he probably doesn't have Earthquake, or because he know I know he can't have Earth Power. So I use Freeze Dry. It's gonna take Gastrodon to like the tiniest, tiniest little sliver of health, so this tiny little penny drop of health. As unfortunately, I can't protect this turn. Marowak's definitely not surviving a Psychic from Hapu Lele. Marowak did its job and goes down, but that's perfectly fine. So I use Freeze Dry on the Tapu Lele. It's going to live with just a tiny bit of health, but luckily my Lapras does have Ice Shard. I'm just not sure if Ice Shard will actually take out Tapu Lele from there since I am a calm nature and I don't even have max physical attack IVs. So we got hope. We got hope to pray that this Ice Shard can take out Tapu Lele from where it's at and it does go Lapras putting the team on your back because Lapras definitely has a back that people can rely on. Look at that shell. You watch the Orange Islands in the anime. Everyone loves riding on Lapras's back. Lapras got the back, you know. You played Sun and Moon here watching this video. You ride on the back of a Lapras. Pokemon X and Y, you've got Lapras in your party. You ride on the back of a Lapras. Gold and silver, everything's a Lapras. <laughs> my, I don't know why people freaking watch my videos because my commentary just goes whatever I want to. Maybe, maybe that's some, uh, appealing to some people. I don't know. Either way, he tried to recover up with his Gastrodon. It's not going to work as my Lapras can eat those Earthquakes for days. I go with another Freeze Drive because I am faster than Gastrodon, even without the Tailwind. And that is going to be a good gosh darn game. GG, Mac. I hope you guys enjoy. I am loving VGC so much. When I wanted to make this team with a Lapras inside of it, everyone was like, don't use Lapras, that's a trash Pokemon. Use Gyarados and Tabu Fini. They're much better than water type Pokemon in VGC. But the thing is, Lapras hard counters every other water type Pokemon, that's why I love it. Like, freaking gold, Double Duck, that Gold Duck Pelipper, what you gonna do? Hydro Vortex a Water Absorb Pokemon? I got Freeze Dry for your ass. Freaking Vortex Super Effective against Pelipper, what are you gonna do? Gyarados Hydro Vortex me? I got Freeze Dry for your ass, I'm gonna eat that Hydro Vortex and drink it right up. A Raccoonin? I'm drinking up all those liquidations, what are you gonna do? Leech Slave me? I can eat that, I'm gonna use Freeze Dry, boy. Like... Freaking even Tapu Finny, like, what are you gonna do? Calm mine into muddy water? Well, I got freeze dry. Let me drink up that muddy water. Tastes delicious. Either way, like, comment, subscribe, care, care studio, and I'll see you guys for the next video. I'm out.